you want to repeat this process over and over and over. But what you really want to do is you want to go as fast as you can without a capacitor for the simple fact is you want to put a lot of this radiant energy to the source. Well, let me explain it on the drawing here since I drew it out anyway. <laughs> okay, so right now you can see a, the battery charging a coil, right? Yep. With the switch, right? Okay, see the switch. And I got the diode here blocking a positive from shorting out. This would be, uh, which positive is that? That's this positive here. You see that? Got it. That's why that diode's there, right? Makes sense? Okay. You don't want to short the battery out to itself, do you? No, hold on. I'm just looking at what you got. Here's the plus from the battery. Yeah. It connects through here. Oh, let me explain something first. This is the plus from the battery hitting the coil. This is the minus from the battery hitting the coil. This is the minus of the flyback event when the coil drops its charge and flies back and this is the plus flyback okay That's okay do that there for better you know easier to follow so you got to have this diode here when you do the single battery thing you know flyback so because if you don't the plus from your battery shorts out to the minus like so without the diode okay and you switch it correct all right, right? path of least resistance got so it just drain the battery like that no good right so you put the diode there and you, you can switch now without draining your battery, right? Okay. Because the plus is not going to be able to go there anymore. Stops. Correct? But that yeah. that's a high voltage diode and it still will block the low voltage 12 volts and that's why I'm using it. And I, I think it's done it before, I've, I've seen it done. So it's also high voltage for the negative flow portion, which is required to um, okay so now the negative flyback uh, or the positive flyback is here right and it's gonna go out the diode into the battery right and the negative flyback is gonna go through the diode <coughs> uh, into the battery I, I missed messed up here I should have drew another channel going down this way yeah, okay. There's actually an easier way to do this. You, you get that though, right? That's the channel I should have added. And the negative flyback can get to the battery. And you could still switch. So know how you can do it a little bit easier so it's not so confusing? But wiring this, this system doesn't work, Mike. So it's not no point going on with it. This system doesn't work. I'll tell you why. Because the flyback shorts out to itself. You can see the black arrows that I already drew yeah now this negative from the flyback now forget about the battery charge we're talking about the flyback polarity that negative is going to touch through here well through the other channel that we created oh man where did it go where is it the positive flyback <laughs> Goes to this terminal, touches here. Okay. And this negative. Oh, there it is. Sorry. It's right here. Uh, okay. See it? That's see, the negative I... flyback channel. Touching okay. the positive terminal. And there's the positive flyback channel. Touching the same terminal. Shorting itself out. Flyback yeah. goodbye. Not going into battery. Thank you. Good night. Okay. This system doesn't work. <laughs> this is why Badini added the second battery. Because yeah, there is sorts itself out. There is a different way of doing it. The way I got around that without it. shorting it out. That's all I want to say. The flyback, when you take the flyback, all right, you dump it into a full weight bridge rectifier. The DC coming off the rectifier, you put it into a capacitor. Okay. So now you've changed the symmetry because it's gone through a capacitor. Yeah, but he also Capac says Hold do on. it as fast as possible without a capacitor. No, but the reason for it is you can still do it. When you put it into the capacitor, you're now changing it from an electric charge state 
enter an electrostatic state. Right. Now, right there, the symmetry has been broken. Right. Okay? So now the power coming off the capacitor now, I put it through another full wave bridge rectifier again, and then I can take that back and feed it right back into the same battery. And it doesn't short it out and it does charge. I would agree with that, yes. But I still think it would be better if you could keep the radiant going, like the act, the, what do you call that? The inductive reactant.